So today we've shopped like the Zoz and it's quite a depressing smorgasbord of crap we've got here. This isn't all of it. I still have a gaming chair and a gaming monitor and they're branded as gaming stuff. This entire table worth of crap, including the chair and the monitor, was like 500 Canadian dollars. So yeah, a good deal for a whole gaming setup. But before we check it out, today's video is sponsored by Corsair's brand new third generation of RMX power supply. I've always loved the RMX power supplies, but this new generation adds some needed improvements like full ATX 3.1 support. And my favorite feature, these new rubberized stock cables, which if you kind of squint, look like they're sleeved cables. But aside from looking better, they're also more malleable, making them easier to work with. And it's got manual fan control. Mm. So treat yourself to a kick-ass power supply using the link down below. Now starting off with the ergonomic wireless mouse because they don't have a gaming mouse. Now I have quite high hopes for this mouse that feels like it's made of air. Uh, which is a good thing. People want that these days. And considering how legendary the kind of basic Microsoft mouse was, I'm sure this thing's gonna be amazing. Ooh, that's a nice touch. It comes with a battery. That's very exciting. It also has a little hole for us to store our wireless receiver in. And aside from not very much feedback on the scroll wheel, it's reasonably clicky. And it's got shoulder buttons, which I use a lot, so that's very useful. Next is the mini USB condenser microphone, so we can get some crisp vocals for us to shout at people on the internet with. A little swivelly bit. And then here is our little condenser microphone with a mute button. Now, considering that this is a condenser mic, which tends to be more sensitive to background noise and stuff, combined with the low stand, makes me think it's gonna have a real problem with things like keyboard noise and rowdy roommates. I also got some Bluetooth wireless on-ear headphones, little charging cable that's very short so that you can't charge it while you're using it. That's a nice touch. Now, unfortunately, this isn't a gaming headset. It's more the kind of thing Jeff would wear while commuting on the bus. As we know, he does that a lot, but I'm sure it'll still work for gaming. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels like on-ear headphones. They, they're always quite uncomfortable, but there's a reasonable bit of noise blocking. I'm, I'm struggling to hear myself, so that's good. Whoa, the charge port is hidden under the hinge. So even with the longest cable in the world, wired operation was never an option. I was kind of assuming from XXL that it was going to be a desk mat as opposed to just a bit of an awkwardly sized mouse pad, but we do have lots of room for all of the low sensitivity 360 no scope flicks we're gonna do. All this stuff has a real e-waste peripheral vibe to it. This looks like every e-waste peripheral keyboard I've seen in my not very long life, medium long life. Oh yeah, mm, that's good. This is keyboard. It's, it's very much just keyboard. Uh, it's nice that it has a numpad, so all the XL enthusiasts will be happy with their Amazon Basics keyboard. And honestly, that's probably what this thing most is used for, is just for people typing in spreadsheet numbers. Yeah, I mean, that feels like it was just pulled straight out of a Dell pre-built box. It may be the same manufacturer. It's also not got any adjustable footies on it, so no incline for you. Whoa, that is an obscenely thick user manual for our for our headset. Oh, it's it's in a whole bunch of languages. Okay, never mind. Because bilingual thickness isn't nearly as impressive as monolingual thickness. Now these are the computer speakers, and it's quite promising. This is the heaviest box so far. Why are these packaged like this? Just put them in the box. Like, why do you have to suffocate them with a plastic bag? I guess the Amazon basic packers like playing manslaughter or something. Now these remind me a lot of the speakers you used to get with PCs way back in the day, like with a compact system, except for the fact that they're not that hideous beige color, which just turns grosser and grosser with time. Instead, they're the now very thematically consistent hideous black plastic. Interestingly, you have to plug them into a wall outlet, which if vibrator logic applies to speakers, these should be real powerful. And you also get a volume knob, which is very exciting. I'm surprised to what extent all the weight in them is in the cables, but 
these may be okay. They may be fine. I'm, I'm sure they'll be terrible. And then finally of this batch is the adjustable monitor stand. And this may be one of the useful accessories we've got going here. This thing feels like they made it out of the same plastic that they wrapped it in, just kind of with more density. In fact, Oh yeah, that's um, that's just build quality right there. Now in terms of adjustability, you've got two settings. This is the, the base one, it's the flattest. There are arrows pointing in, in that direction. So do I, um, what? Why do you have to slide it in the opposite direction that the arrow points for it to come out? That is, that's wildly misleading and then you get slightly more elevation. But then there's a third setting, which you get to by pulling this out and putting it in the other way around. Then it's slightly higher. Oh, this is some high tech plastic manufacturing we've got going on here. I'm sure it's gonna make a great addition to the Pacific garbage patch in a couple months when this inevitably breaks. And then when you have your monitor on it, you can also hide some knickknacks under. Okay, let's go make a setup. Oh wow, that already looks wildly terrible, but we still need to get our monitor and gaming chair ready to turn this into a complete setup. Ugh, there's a hair on it, that's pretty gross. But aside from that, that is not as butt cheeks a stand as I was expecting. I thought it was just gonna be one of those like flat ones. I'm gonna have to be very careful building this chair because I have a pretty dodgy history <laughs> with building gaming chairs on this channel. What is the point? Why do you want your chair to be able to do this? So I need to make sure that the seat goes on the correct way around. Okay, now is that really so hard just putting a big red arrow labeled front on it? Although those welds are shocking. It looks like I did it. This looks a little bit like it was built by me. Look at that stapling work. Oh, that is a hard seat. But aside from the shocking craftsmanship, assembly was very straightforward. I just had to do up some bolts and soon I was rewarded with chair. That's hard. It's also quite leaned back, which, which it doesn't like very much. You can see it's gonna fall over. And as far as I understand, there's nothing you can do about that because it's, it can just go up and down. That's as high as it'll go. Wow, this is a rubbish chair. And then all there was left to do before we could try out our new setup was plug everything in. And the question the setup immediately raised, other than where did they find all this terrible black plastic, was the scale of it all. This is not a comfortable mouse for me because it, it feels like I'm just swallowing it with my hand. This is designed for people with very, very small hands. The armrests are way too low. I feel like all of this stuff is designed for really tiny little people because you have to be so short for these armrests to make sense. This is a weird position in terms of chair. I'm not sure why this is what they decided on as the only setting. So this is something that you need to bear in mind when watching this video is that a lot of what I'm gonna be complaining about is <laughs> very preference-based, and if you think that it's a stupid complaint, maybe it won't bother you. But having just made that disclaimer, there were a couple things I was immediately excited by. Ooh, an exciting thing about the keyboard, it has dedicated volume buttons. Uh, even though we don't really need it necessarily, because speaker-wise, we've got a volume knob going. But the immediate standout from the crowd was the monitor. The monitor is surprisingly good. How much does this display cost? On Amazon Canada, it costs 200 Canadian dollars. And for that, you get a surprisingly good display. 1080p on a 24 inch display gets you reasonable pixel density, and it's got an IPS high refresh rate panel that gets 100% sRGB color space coverage. And look at that color wow. accuracy. That's amazing. And you can really tell while using it. The display looks very good. Motion rendering's very nice. It's honestly way better than I was expecting. 
So I've spent the entire afternoon gaming on this Amazon Basics setup, and one of the things that always gets me about this kind of thing is the extent to which you can get used to pretty much any peripherals. Although, I'm pretty sure you can get used to being waterboarded if it happens to you enough, so I don't know if that really means anything. And uh, even having gotten used to it, a lot of this stuff is terrible. The mouse, for example, I really wanted to like, but it feels like aiming with a drugged elderly cat, being real slow and heavy to respond to inputs. The shape makes my hand cramp for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's so tiny, but it just is really uncomfortable to me. It also tends to ignore inputs and behave erratically with fast changes in direction. Again, not unlike said drugged cat, uh, but it was the same for the keyboard. I felt like with both of them, it, it, it sometimes ignored what I was doing. When it comes to the keyboard, it's usable, uh, but it's got an issue that I have with pretty much all of these e-waste peripheral keyboards. There's something about the Alt and Windows key placement that means that about 50% of the time I'm trying to hit Alt, I hit the Windows key, which is really bad while gaming because it just throws you out of the game and gets you killed. Now moving on to the headset. This headset is a complete abomination and maybe the worst headphones I've ever used for gaming. Not only is their wireless connection spotty, so they just drop signal every now and then, they also have no ability to create directionality in the sound. Honestly, I would rather play Escape from Tarkov with no audio than with these on, because you just hear the footsteps kind of rattling around in your head. Here's a clip where you can clearly see the weird audio signals baiting me to change position, getting me killed. And then there's the weird dynamic range issue, where everything's either whisper quiet or super loud. So you can't turn the volume up to hear the quiet things, because otherwise it'll shatter your eardrums on the loud things. I hate these headphones, they're terrible. Which meant for the majority of my gaming, I used the desktop speakers, which were actually, I guess maybe it's in comparison to the headset, but they were better than I was expecting. Once I figured out that the volume knob one needs to be on the right, which is counter to all of the pictures on Amazon's website for some reason, uh, but once it's on the right, you can actually use it in a game like Escape from Tarkov. Yeah, they were generally a decent bit less offensive than I was expecting, but their cable situation is a nightmare, so they're very difficult to place because the cables walk the speaker around a bit, so that's pretty annoying, especially considering how directional they are. You really need to point them straight at your ears. Now moving over to the microphone, the cable that it shipped with was broken, but once I replaced that cable, it worked okay. So this is the microphone test. They're both recording now. Uh, I've put the microphone on the desk where it it belongs, I guess. This is the, this is the closest you're gonna get it to your mouth. Uh, I'm comparing it to my lavalier mic, which isn't an amazing mic. It's supposed to be more kind of convenient than super high quality. So there's no gain knob on it, but there's also no auto gain. Okay. So with the microphone, a much more kind of normal microphone distance from my mouth. This is what it sounds like, again, compared to the lavalier mic. Uh, so this is a test of noise rejection. So I'm gonna try and keep my levels the same. I'm gonna speak at the same volume, but turn the microphone around so that we can see when the microphone isn't facing towards the subject, how much levels you lose. It's not massive, but it's a little bit quieter on the back. It's not massive, but it's a little bit quieter around the back. Now, when it comes to things I liked, I've already spoken about how good the monitor is, but yeah, it's really good. I would happily game with this thing every day. It's a little bit ugly, but for the price, it really has got it where it counts. It's even got a decent stand. Now, when it comes to the chair, I, I don't like it very much. Uh, there's no padding. The only position that you have me is just not good. Like this, this is such a, it's like a half recline, but it isn't really a recline. It, there's no adjustability. It's, it's not a good chair. It feels like it's gonna break very quickly. It makes my back sweaty and hurt. The mouse pad is fine, I guess, but it's a dumb shape for how big it is. So I had to hang some of it off the bottom of the desk so that it didn't get in the way of the monitor stand. Now, when it comes to the monitor stand, it's a very flimsy bit of plastic that you put a monitor on. It functionally does what it says, so I can't be too hard on it, but I feel like it's, it's barely a step above just putting your monitor on a box or some packaging. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't look nice. It's not like, I, I, I don't know, but I don't think any of this is a surprise to any of you. I don't think any of you clicked on this video thinking that this stuff isn't gonna be garbage. In fact, I think they should rename it from Amazon Basics to Amazon E-Waste. Aside 
from the display. It's a surprisingly good display. <laughs> Which brings me to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.